Right, so this is my least favourite way of having a short break, going lunchtime from work, because although I've got a couple, a few hours, because, well, various, various reasons, I've got a few hours, but um, I just feel like I'm constantly rushing up there. I couldn't find the wing mirrors, and I found them. Um, oh, just a mad rush. Anyway, let's get on with it. This is quality caravan vlogging. On a separate subject, um, I was recently looking at the analytics on the YouTube channel, and you know I bang on about international caravan vlog and all that because I go to France. Well, it seems we have a reasonable following in Australia and New Zealand. So, good day. Sorry, I won't. I shouldn't. I won't do an Australian accent or even even attempt a New Zealand one. But what I will do is try and include a bit more kangaroo and koala bear and kiwi bird content from now on probably a bit warmer where you are it's freezing here it looks warm because the sun's out but about four degrees let's carry on with this Right, here we are at, I'm going to say Wyatt's Covert, although I don't really know how you pronounce the first word. Here it is, this is the pretty much the entire site. Nice little overlander thing over there, came turned up last night. So I think it, yesterday was the first day of the season for this particular site. So um, we were going to go out to visit somebody, but Apparently he's been told there's a crash on the road coming up to the campsite and you can't go the other way because they're roadworks, not roadworks, they're building some kind of flyover massive great big 
hopefully I would have showed you by now the um, where we had to do a three point turn because I was determined it wasn't actually you know when you see a road close sign and you think you know what it's not going to be closed and well it is so we had to do a three point turn with the builders helping us to anyway that was sort of fun so we're just going to go for a walk there's a little airfield just sort of well where the sun is there so just behind there <clears throat> um bit of noise but not really is it like light aircraft and the helicopters every now and again quite fun really as a novelty quite good to see so we're going to go for a little stroll now no point in doing a walk around the site because like i say that's that's it some road noise but pretty quiet really right so as the roads closed we're just going for a wander over to the airport which is just opposite the site thinking here the plane there but that, that's the kind of noise level you get hardly anything really so the site is just there it's a chilly morning I do feel like you're in the countryside so just next to the site here the site's just through there and there's a little nature reserve thing just here looks quite nice and as you can see the airports just there so as you can see the road down that way coming out the site and turning right is closed as i said because of roadworks and now the road that way is closed because of an accident so we're actually stuck on the site now we have heard uh we have read on reviews that there's some sort of little cafe down there where you can sit and watch the airplanes for a little while so hopefully the staff will manage to get through, otherwise it'll be shut. So that's the size of planes you get flying over the site, so there's not hardly any noise at all really. you really go up in the air in one of those things. So there's a, we're in the little nature reserve next to the site. So there's the site there you can see. Um, there's a little gate there that I think you can walk up there and get in that way. So right next to the site. Nice little wooded area. Little signposts about. Car park, which is car park, which seems to be closed at the moment, but I think it should be open, as you can see, a little wooded path. It's not extreme, is it? But actually, you've got to be careful. It's like a mesh, like chicken wire, over it, so which stops it from being stops it from being too slippery. North Moor Hill Local Nature Reserve. <laughs> what a good idea. Ideal for dog walkers, I'd imagine. And people of a certain age have got nothing better to do, like us. It's been quite a while since I've been in any woodland. As a kid, maybe, I don't know if where you lived, there seemed to be like little wooded areas like this all over the place. And I was you know, in a, in a town, a, a town boy, and there's always like a little area like this, this sort of size, that you'd always have to go through to get to somewhere. We had a place called the Bluebell Woods because it had bluebells in it. Of 
course as a kid I didn't give a crap about bluebells <laughs> just that I knew that it, could get, it was the quickest way to the shops or something or whatever so that's the kind of noise you get at the site obviously that's all right <laughs> it's extreme so there's absolutely no breeze at all it's really nice so I just walked up that hill honest um, really nice the Sun is out but it is cold but lovely what a lovely morning so if you fast forwarded all that and just come across this bit where am I so it's Wyatt's covert that's what I'm going to call it and right next to it is a nature reserve just opposite Denham Airport Denham Airfield should I say in Buckinghamshire caravan club site caravan and motorhome club site very nice oh might not have mentioned earlier <laughs> we uh, forgot our electric cable for God's sake and also the handle for the aqua roll which we've done before just recently in Brighton we usually keep it in the caravan but when we come home from Longley it was miserable cold and we just chucked everything in the boot and then we've taken it out of the boot put it in the house but not then put it back in the caravan fortunately the wardens lovely wardens on site by the way and they helped us out we they, they managed they lent us lent us an electric cable perfect Ooh, cigars in the wood now we're lost are we lost are we lost no, we're not lost, apparently. That's good. Should have used a bit of cotton, cotton that left the trail so we could follow it back. Honestly, it's not that big. And there's a site just there. There we are. Through there. The thing is, with vlogs like this, you get no, no plan, no idea that we're gonna vlog anything. And there we are, 45 minute vlog, walking around the nature reserve. <laughs> Actually, it won't be 45 minutes, hopefully. Recommend this site, and as if you watch the channel regularly, we don't recommend that many sites. <clears throat> but, as I said earlier, well, no, we were talking earlier, that sometimes sites like this, you don't really expect much, but they're really good. But also, it's not the site necessarily, it's kind of your mood, um, what it's like, how quiet it is, what the weather's like is great. Also, obviously, plays a big part. Morning, uh, going home day. Cracking weekend though. I'll tell you what, it's a bit chilly this morning. Um, didn't put the front cover on either. Think like that. Everything about this packing away is going to be cold. Um, that's about it really. That pipe's frozen. That pipe's frozen, even though I'm getting water through. I suppose it's coming from the tank. Anyway. <laughs> what do I know about caravan then? Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Oh, from Wyatt Covert. Wyatt Covert, I say that. Wyatt Covert. Caravan and Motome Club site. Thanks. Holy crap. We've, uh. Eh? I found it. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. All right. Just literally just there on the floor. All right. Yeah, yeah well, I'm having to, um. Wind the stays up because we've somehow lost the battery to the drill that we use and uh, <coughs> battery run out mid-sentence Any, anyway mid-sentence so we've uh, managed to well, I've got the hood up <laughs> we've managed to um, lose the battery to the drill that we use to take the stays up so I'm doing it manually and we're supposed to have had EMP <laughs> I mean this is fate isn't it we're supposed to have had EMP fitted by now and uh, anyway I'll get on with doing this last one manually and you can watch me for posterity This is why you need EMP level. Can you see me? Let's hope so. I haven't done this for about 10 years. <laughs> Luckily we found the winder upper. <laughs> and that my friends is why you need EMP leveling. Links below. <laughs> Bye.
Yeah.